Hi, in this Lightboard session we're going to talk about streams, repeatable streams, non-repeatable streams, and when you might use them. So there are three main options for streams in Mule. So there are non-repeatable streams which behave very similarly to streams in Java when you are reading the bytes in or reading whatever's in there and then once you've read it, it gets closed and it is done. So they can only be consumed once, which is both their strength and their weakness. Their strength is that they can avoid keeping everything in memory, but the weakness is if you need to use it more than once. So, so we have two other options built into the Mule runtime in terms of functionality that will deal with this problem, and they are repeatable streams. One which uses an in-memory buffer, so it uses the top half of this. So your, your stream, as you consume it, normally it would be throwing the bytes away, but because this is a non-consumable, it is a repeatable, it will buffer it as part of the work that goes on. And then if someone tries to read it a second time or a third time, it will come out of that in-memory buffer. So point two uses an in-memory buffer. Now, it's a good way to put a cap on how much memory you're gonna allocate this, but if you exceed that, then you've got no other option. And that brings us into point three, which is actually the default on the, on the Mule runtime. So the file store repeatable stream allows you to use a disk-based buffer in addition to the in-memory buffer. So if you are below the threshold that you want to keep in memory, it behaves exactly like point two. It, it's in memory, it's an in-memory buffer, you can use it as many times as you like, and it comes out of that in-memory buffer. When you exceed that in-memory size, it will overflow to your disk. Now, it's still limited by the amount of disk space, but it does solve the problem where you want to put a cap on how much memory, deal with very large files, and also be able to consume them many times. So these three options give you a range of um, tunability, ranging from best performance would be the non-repeatable stream, uh, the in-memory repeatable would be better performance than going to disk, but in-disk is the safest and that's why it's the default. So it can deal with very large, gets that good mix of a certain amount in memory, certain amount in disk. Now, there's two overall types of streams that you may need to deal with. One is binary, so that would be something like the file connector. Uh, if you're reading a file, it's just bytes. So the thresholds that you would set for the amount of in memory would be bytes, kilobytes, megabytes in memory. Uh, as far as the other type, which is object streams, these are returned by certain types of connectors that might return a very large number of objects, but you don't want all of those objects to be kept in memory at any given time. So they are returned from things like the database connector or the Salesforce connector. Those will return an object stream and you can configure them to be either in memory, fast or repeatable if you want to consume them more than once, or the non-repeatable stream. And that, in a nutshell, is the two overall types of streams and the three varieties of repeatable versus non-repeatable options.